Do you know you can read, respond to and search for Gmail messages even when you are not connected to the internet? Well, in this video, I will be showing you what all changes you need to make in the settings of your Gmail account to be able to use it offline and what all activities you can do while you are not connected to the internet. So make sure you watch the video till the end and now let's get started. Alright, so first of all, to start with, you need to be logged into your Gmail account and to make the changes, you need to be connected to the Wi-Fi. Alright, so before you can be able to use Gmail offline, you need to make some changes in the settings. And for that, your laptop or your computer needs to be connected to the Internet. Alright, so once you are logged into your Gmail account, you simply have to click on the settings icon given in the top right corner and then click on see all settings now here at the top you will see a lot of options and you simply have to go to offline here you need to select enable offline mail now here you can see the storage that how much storage do you have for offline mail on your computer and then you can even select how much emails like for the last 30 days, you can even store the emails on your computer even when you are offline, alright? Now here you can even set it to 90 days or 7 days if you want. So that depends on you how many emails do you want to store offline. And you can even select the option download attachments. So if those emails have attachments, they will also get downloaded for offline use, alright? So that's one thing you need to decide if you want to go for the 30 days option or the 90 days or 7 days. Now the next thing is security after logging out of my Google account you need to choose one option the first one is keep offline data on my computer so it means the data that you have downloaded you want to keep it stored on your computer or the other option is you want to remove the offline data from your computer once you log out of your Gmail account so that depends on you if you want to keep the offline data or not all right so can select any option I'm going to select remove offline data once you are done selecting all the information that you want to have with you simply have to click on save changes and as you can read this email resync will be required every time you log out and back into Gmail so it will resync every time you do this all right so yeah click on ok So yeah, now the changes have been made and as I'm doing it for the first time, you can see this message right here that create a bookmark for offline access. A bookmark is the best way to read Gmail when you're offline. To create a bookmark, go to your inbox and press Ctrl plus T, alright? So how it helps in case if, if you suddenly go offline or your internet is not working, you can easily use this bookmark that you are going to create to access your emails offline and you can reply to your emails not actually reply but you can simply save the replies and as soon as you will get connected to internet you will be able to send those emails all right so yeah press ok and you need to be on the screen the inbox screen and then at the top press the bookmark icon that is the star here you can write any name that you want you can simply type gmail offline and click on done all right so you have created a new bookmark for this now what we are going to do is we are going to turn off the Wi-Fi so I have disconnected the internet all right now I'm going to close it and as you can see this bookmark that I have created, I will simply click on it. And as you can see, it's loading. It means it is working. Once it gets loaded, you will see you are offline. Some functionality may be unavailable, all right? So you can use only a few features of Gmail when you are offline. Now, if you want to compose a new email or if you want to reply to any of the emails that you have received, you can do that. But all those emails will get saved in your Outbox folder. All right. I will show you how that works. So I'm simply going to create a new email. And you can send it. I will send it to myself so that you can see if I receive it or not. So 
so it's written that offline message will be sent later so you can uh, easily create replies for your emails and that's how you can send it to yourself or anyone you want all right so if you will see the email is lying here in the outbox it is still not sent all right so that's how you can make the best use of the gmail offline feature and you can check your emails you can uh, like prepare reply for the emails and whenever you get connected to the internet again you can send those emails that was all for this video hope you found it helpful and if you do don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to stay notified of all my latest videos if you have any doubts issues queries or feedback related to any of my videos do let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more interesting and useful tutorials for now i will take the leave we'll see you the next time